What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to make myself look miserable before I go into the group. You've been painting your apartment with the windows closed again? <laughs> look, I gotta tell somebody. Can you keep a secret? Of course I can. But this better not be something I told you. <laughs> Remember Molly? The girl who works with me down at the tunnel? Oh, yeah. The one you were dating until the group opened their big mouths and made you break out with yeah, her? Yeah, well, don't let this get around. We're sort of... Living together. You and Molly are living together! <laughs> if the group finds out, I'm afraid they're gonna try and break us up again. Oh, come on. They'll be happy for you. Best thing to do, just go in there, tell the truth. You think so? Sure, they're your friends. Maybe you're right. Thanks, Denise. Anytime, honey. Hi, everybody. I have something to tell you about Molly. In a minute, Ralph. Now, Mary, we don't mean to interfere, but we all think it might be best if you and your new boyfriend stop seeing each other. Definitely, Mary. Mary oh, Matthews, get rid of the guy. No, no good. So, Ralph, what did you want to tell us about Molly? <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> John is filmed before a studio audience. You can all meet Jan. Oh. I can't wait to meet her, Jan. Yeah, I gotta tell you, she's the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. I just wish that sometimes she would forget that she's a periodontist, you know, because the other night at the movies, in the middle of this real hot love scene, she leans over and whispers in my ear, Michelle Pfeiffer has bad bite. <laughs> By the way, Jan has a terrific bite. <laughs> yeah, sure is great to have a woman that cares about you, isn't it, John? Yeah. Not that lonely old me would know. <laughs> oh, Ralph, you're still heartbroken over Molly, aren't you? Don't worry. You'll find somebody else to love you. Of course you will. It takes time. You just have to have patience. God, do you have to have patience. <laughs> That place was the fits. I am never letting you pick the restaurant again. Man, I would kill for a cigarette. Jackie, will you just chill out? What are you trying to say, that I'm irritable? I wish. You said goodbye to irritable miles ago. You're just mad because I won't sleep with you. Will you cool it, please? I have a reputation to protect here. People around here think of me as, you know, uh, a, a sexual god. <laughs> People like who? People like me. You're really starting to get on my nerves. Well, maybe you'd like it if I just disappeared. Maybe I would. Then maybe I will. Fine. Good. I know this doesn't have anything to do with our group, but I have something I have to talk to you about. I'm sorry I'm late. Hello, Kirk. I just found out I'm being audited by the IRS, and I'm scared to death. I mean, what if they find a mistake and they think I've been cheating? They could send me to jail. Well, 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 
whoa, 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 Louise, maybe I can help you. Did you file a return? Of course I did. In that case, I can't help you. <laughs> oh, please, don't worry about it. Everything's, everything's gonna work out fine. Just relax. Yeah. yeah, all you have to do is go down there with an air of confidence, dressed in a simple yet dignified outfit. Maybe a string of pearls, nothing flashy. Just show the auditor your receipts and tell them you have nothing to hide. And if that doesn't work, lose the bra. <laughs> Miss Mercer? Oh, my God! You scared me half to death! Yes, well, a lot of people think that's what we're here for. <laughs> Walter Harrison, I'll be handling your audit. What have we here? Size 6, beige pumps. Those are my receipts. I know. And you have the smallest feet I've audited all day. <laughs> Please, just relax. Oh, I can't help it. I'm just too nervous. Well, don't be. Try to keep a positive attitude. <laughs> now, shall we take a look at this little return of yours, huh? Hmm. <laughs> nothing. It's nothing. Uh oh, it appears we have an LKW 147K. Oh, my God, what's that? What's going to happen to me? I'm just a single mother who works her fingers to the bone to raise a small child. I am not a criminal. Am I? <laughs> No, no, of course you're not. In fact, according to my calculations, we owe you $467. Oh, I can't tell you how relieved I am. That means I'm not going to jail. I can keep my baby. <laughs> you have a wonderful sense of humor. You mean I can't? <laughs> oh, no. Of course you can. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, I hope you won't think that I'm being forward or taking advantage of my position, Miss Mercer, but I would love to have dinner with you tonight. Dinner? <laughs> with me, Mr. Harrison? Walter. Call me Walter, Miss Mercer. Louise. And I'd love to have dinner with you, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We'll celebrate your refund. Now, uh, where would you like to go, Louise? Well, call me old-fashioned, but I always think it's the man's place to make that decision. Good. Then I'll decide. Now, would you like me to decide on Italian, Mexican, French? <laughs> How about Chinese? Settle. If you want Chinese, that's my decision. We'll go Chinese. <laughs> Oh, I just love a man who takes charge. <laughs> so, Cantonese or Mandarin? Surprise me. I'll try. <laughs> now, I have your address there. What time? Would you like me to pick you up? Eight o'clock. That would have been my choice. <laughs> Louise, I have a feeling that our meeting today was kismet. Well... This has been quite an afternoon. Not only am I getting a refund, but I met a most charming gentleman. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to this evening, Walter. Not half as much as I am. Louise? Well, uh, ta-ta. Oh, I almost forgot. God bless you! <laughs> Why do you have to live with your grandmother? I do not live with my grandmother. She's just visiting me. All right, you want to come up, come up. <laughs> no, forget it. Night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Look, what is your problem? 
You're my problem. I love you and I want to live with you. Yeah? Well, I love you and I want to live with you, too. Every weekend we take long walks in the park, we play frisbee. I can't tell you how many people just walk up to me and say, where did you find him? He's adorable. <laughs> Jan, cut it out. I'm blushing. <laughs> I was telling them about my Doberman. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Louise, I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot to ask. How did your audit come out? Oh, swimmingly. I even got a refund. A refund? No yes. kidding. That's great. <laughs> you really stuck it to those jerks down at the IRS. I, <laughs> I love it when those guys get what's coming to them. <laughs> uh, actually, Walter here did my audit. <laughs> Don't you think I knew that? <laughs> More wine, anyone? <laughs> Okay. I'd like you to meet Danny and Donnie. Donnie. Danny. Whatever. <laughs> this is Kate McCarran. Hi. It's nice meeting both of you. Um, Mary Beth, would you excuse us for just a moment, please? Excuse me. Mary Beth, I appreciate what you're trying to do by bringing two guys to the party, but I don't want you to worry about me because I'm okay. <laughs> I don't want to offer you one until I can tell them apart. John! John! Great party! Great party! Oh, and this must be Jan? Yeah. Hi, Jan. John, could I talk to you in the bedroom for a minute? I got a problem. A big problem. No, no, no. Hold it, Kirk. I have a rule. I don't allow myself to be dragged into a bedroom by a man with a problem. Please. Come on, John, please. All right, all right. I I'll be right in, okay? I got, I got to put out some more wine for my guests. Oh, uh, Tom, would you mind getting me another glass of club soda, please? <laughs> Tom's very quiet, isn't he, Mrs. Filbert? That's the way I like him. <laughs> I've had my share of screamers. <laughs> Great party, John. Yeah. Yes, well, they love you. They think you're perfect. <laughs> but they're just a bunch of pushovers. Me, I'm a lot harder to please. But a lot easier to push over. Ooh. Oh, would you get that for me, hon? Yeah. Hello. Uh, yes, he is. May I say he's calling? Wendy? As an ex-wife, Wendy? Oh, this is Jan. Yes, as in present girlfriend, Jan. <laughs> They're just crazy about your onion dip. John, it's Wendy. I'll call her back later. Oh, John, you're so lucky to find somebody like Jan. Yeah, she's smart, she's beautiful, and she's talking to Wendy. <laughs> really, Wendy, I didn't know that about John. How often does it happen? <laughs> I think I thought I'll take that call, thank you. <laughs> John, you are so cute when you're in trouble. <laughs> Can I get you something, Miss McCarran? Oh, please, call me Kate. And no thank you, Walter. How about you, sweetheart? He's so considerate. Um, maybe a glass of white wine? Chablis or Chardonnay? <laughs> Whatever you're having, Walter. Definitely the Chablis. Unless you'd rather have the Chardonnay. Let's go with the red wine. That would be my choice. Cabernet or Burgundy? <laughs> Okay, Kirk. What is it? Oh, John, um, you gotta understand. You know Jackie. Jackie. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, she's important to me. Yeah, well, what I'm trying to say, John, is Jackie and I are gonna live together. What? That's great. That's wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, come on, let's tell everybody else. Oh, no, 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 no. There's nothing to celebrate yet because, um... Well, now she's come up with all these conditions, like, uh, she won't even sleep with me until I get a blood test. 
Well, she just wants to be careful. Yeah, I know, but she wants more than just a blood test, John. Get this. Hi, John. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Rob, you finally got here. Yeah, I'm sorry I was late, but I wouldn't miss a chance to meet Jan for the world. Well, gotta go. Wait a minute. You just got here. Where are you going? Ah, uh, back to the tunnel. They really come down on us when we leave the toll booth unattended. <laughs> Shh, bureaucrats. <laughs> Look, uh, Kirk, I got a party going on. I got to get back to my guests. Just tell me, what more does Jackie want from you? She wants a list of all the women I've slept with in the last three months. <laughs> well, you know, this is the 90s. I mean, you can't be too safe, so just give her a list of all the women you slept with. John, come on, get in the bathroom. I don't want anybody to hear this. Kirk, 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 what's the big deal? I can't give her a list. The reason I can't give her a list of the women I've slept with is there is no list. What? John, I, I don't want this to get around, but for the last three months, my love boat has been in dry dock. <laughs> Your boat's in dry dock? <laughs> you mean to sit there and tell me that you haven't been with a woman in three months? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So you haven't scored in a while, so just tell Jackie that. What are you, out of your mind? What kind of wuss is she going to think I am? I got to tell you, great party. Bye. Yeah, all right. See you, Ralph. <laughs> so, John, I need a favor. Um, do you have any women that you've slept with who wouldn't mind saying they slept with me? <laughs> Kirk, you don't have any women who would admit to sleeping with you. What makes you think that I do? Thanks a lot, John. Some friend. Well, I don't need your help. I've got other options. Yo, Ralphie, wait up. I need a favor. Oh, Kirk. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't bring Jackie tonight. I was really looking forward to meeting her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ms. McCarran, I know what you're doing. You didn't have a date tonight, so you're hitting on me. Ah, right, Kirk, the elevator's here. Yeah. You I was hoping Jackie would change you, but you know, you're still the same self-centered, despicable, sleazy... Jay, I'm sorry. Hey, put your money away, will you? I'm spoken for. It was so nice to meet you. Bye, John. Bye, Mary Beth. Loved your dip. <laughs> we had a lovely time. Thanks. Louise, nice. Walter. Good night. Louise, what do you say we go catch a movie? Oh, I'd love you choose. Well, I've been dying to catch that new French film that's playing around the corner. Sounds great. Or we could rent a movie, go back to my place and build a fire. That sounds good, too, Walter. Uh, nice of you guys to drop by. You want to use firewood or presto logs? <laughs> anything, Walter, any damn thing. <laughs> They're all very nice. Yeah, too bad they stayed so long. You're mad at me, aren't you? No, I'm not mad. It's just... It's that phone call from Wendy, isn't I, it? I thought you said that she was out of your life. She is. Well, does she call you a lot? Jan, in all the years since we've been divorced, she's probably only called me three or four times. A week. <laughs> Tops. <laughs> and I was worried. <laughs> Honestly, Jan, I'm completely over her. Do you mean it? You want me to get a Bible and swear on it? Yes. Okay. I think there's one next to the bed in the nightstand. Well, come on. I'll help you look for it. Well, this might take a while. Mm -hmm. We're not going to turn the lights on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Next week. Yeah, I'll see you. Nice. And now, just because I left a stupid arm up, I have to work the next three weekends for nothing. Hi, Louise. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. We just finished, Walter. Is uh, something wrong? Since we went to John's party, you haven't returned any of my calls. I know. I'm sorry. I think you and I should have a little talk. You want to break up with me, don't you? It's okay. It happens to me all the time. Now, would you like to never see me again, or would you like to still be friends? <laughs> Because I can go either way. I just want you to be happy.
Carter, why don't we go somewhere and talk about this? I'd like that, Louise. If you would. <laughs> Okay, night. I'll tell you what, Louise. Why don't you let me take you to dinner? Is that your decision, Walter? Yes. Good. Now, where would you like to go? What? Well, I know you like Chinese. We'll go Chinese. Of course, there's always Mexican. Or Italian. Where would you like to go, Louise? I'm going home. Hi, sorry I'm late. Smoke Enders ran a little long tonight. No problem. You look nice. Thank you. You hungry? Yeah. Want to go grab a bite to eat? Great. Okay. You can give me your list at dinner. What list? The list of all the women you've been with, remember? Oh, right. That list. Um, well, my attorney told me I shouldn't reveal any names because it might upset too many celebrities. <laughs> If you and I are going to live together, we got to be straight with each other. I brought you my list. <laughs> I don't care what's on this list. I don't even want to see this list, Jackie. Come on. Let's just forget the whole thing. We trust each other. Kurt, please. What? Now, look. I don't care how many women you've been with in the last three months, as long as I can check them out. Now, give me the names. <sighs> suppose. Just suppose. I said that there wasn't anyone. That's it. I'm out of here. Okay, okay, okay. There was one. Start writing. Okay, but this goes against my grain as a gentleman. I don't like to kiss and tell. So, who's Kate McCarran? Despicable, underhanded snake! Just when I think you can't sink any lower, you manage to find a new bottom. I'm going to kill you. No, 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 Kate, 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 Kate. No, no, come on, come on, Kate. You're not going to kill anybody. You're right. First, I'm going to make him walk funny. Where are the scissors? <laughs> Susan Lucci. I know my children I've been married eight times, survived a plane crash, and stared down a bear. Now I'm hosting Saturday Night Live. The bear was easier. And Sunday, it's NBA Showtime with Bob Costas and Pat Riley, followed by the NBA on NBC as the L.A. Lakers take on the Boston Celtics. Sunday, only on NBC Sports.